Come on then. So I've been working on the power wheels again and as you saw from the video I've made some modifications. So here is a variable throttle and I've added this switch right here and just the normal normal gear selector. And then this is the MPPT controller for the solar panel but that's not connected right now. So down here Right here you see there is a relay, relay board. I'm only using one of those. This wire goes to the original negative wire on the car. Over here is a small buck converter that provides five volts to this Arduino Mini. And basically this is what's controlling it. Now there's a, a power FET, an end channel power FET with a giant heatsink. And uh, when the kids are riding this, this actually stays pretty cool, so I don't seem to be having any kind of overheating issues. Um, and these are copper wires instead of the copper clad aluminum that you get with these cars normally. Um, so, so this pedal, the wire goes under the car and kind of through this piece here. And comes across and then connects down onto the Arduino and the Arduino uses pulse width modulation to effectively turn on and off the negative line to the vehicle and so depending on which gear you're in over here it'll drive these motors and also this little switch here provides power um, to that buck converter and when that buck converter is on the relay comes on now I'll show you quickly the battery that I'm using for this. These are four um, LG cells. They're 3,000 milliamp hours each, and that's a four series cell, so it's what, roughly 14 volts. Um, it's a little smaller, but these are pretty high discharge. These can provide 20 amps. Now if I just take it real quick here and connect. These aren't the ideal connectors, but these are just my... This is my test. Now I'm going to turn the switch on and off and you should be able to hear and see the relay board. So this is on and this is off. So what happens is if you turn the vehicle off and that relay then turns off, even if there's some issue with the controller, the power would entirely cut. So this is a physical power switch. Um, with that said, I haven't really had any issues because that uh, that MOSFET isn't overheating. So, that's about it. I guess I'll show you quickly some of the noises it makes. This is in low speed. And of course reverse. Oh, I seem to have lost. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> and then the high speed is much quicker. Ah, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to tell on a video how quick it is, but it's definitely a lot quicker than it used to be. Um, another modification I need to make is um, I want to use the second relay on that board. And when you let go of the pedal, I would like the Arduino to, to basically short out the motors about three seconds after you've let go and the reason for this is that on the original pedal when you let go of the pedal it would uh it would close the motor circuit to essentially stop the vehicle the vehicle is much harder to move if you have the motor wires shorted out so i think my next step here is to kind of clean this wiring up some and actually build this properly inside of a case get the solar panel connected and I'd like to build um, some poles coming up here and add a 100 watt flexible panel on top because this 20 watt panel I don't think it looks that cool on the front and it'd be kind of nifty to have a roof so when I get there I will post another video 
All right, one more thing. I just wanted to show you how this battery holder was working. So this is actually a four cell holder and you usually have four individual positive wires and four individual negative wires. But I took those off and I soldered these copper wires here. And I also soldered solid copper across these terminals to create a four series battery. And so I can literally pop these cells out Yeah, almost lost that one and um, put these in a charger in just a normal 18650 charger charge them back up and then pop them back in um, I'm not planning on charging these in the car with the solar panel until I attach a uh, BMS to the battery so this is the safest way for me to do that right now the only thing I'm lacking is a fuse so I gotta add that as well as these are pretty Pretty powerful cells. All right, bye.